And hello there, friends. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully, you're all having a great day. I am having a really good day so far. For no reason in particular, other than I just feel really good today. Perfect. Hey, Beth Ackwards. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today there, friendo? Hopefully, all is well in your part of the world. Where is my controller? I put it right here. Make sure it's not wrapped around its own cord. Well, technically, it's not its own cord, but, you know. Hey, Kitty, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? There we go. Got it all full screened up. Yeah, so should be a pretty good stream today, I think. Should be quite good. Gonna be going through Flashpoint, I think it's called. Uh, which should be very, very fun. Uh, have three, count them, three endings to get in that one. Uh, I don't, see, I don't think there were that many, like, alternate endings in file one. Which is why I didn't get them in file one. I think there's, like, a couple, but I didn't want to play the last mission, like, three times, because that's just a long one. These ones are relatively short-ish. So I think it's a bit more justified to be able to go, like, yeah, I want to get these. Get these, show them off. And then we're on to RE4. I'm actually really excited. I, I See, I love playing Outbreak, but I'm so excited to get past uh, Outbreak so I can get to 4. I've really, really been wanting to play RE4. <clears throat> For no reason other than I'm just really excited. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Kitty says, good you. I'm doing good, thank you. Having a pretty good day today so far. And Bass Eckert says, I'm doing all right. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Also, speaking of the uh, chatbot showing off the YouTube uh, channel, today, today hit a milestone for the subscriber count on YouTube. Hit 69 today. Nice. Nice. That's probably going to date this a little bit. And if it goes back down to 68, who knows? Maybe, maybe this will suddenly be like, oh, no. Uh, but yeah, hit 69 today. Pretty, pretty happy about that. Hit the meme. We hit the meme number. Uh, so, you know, I hitting the meme number is fun. All right? It's fun. Explicit violence and gore. Indeed. Uh, it, 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 disturbing. Oh, it's flashback, not flashpoint. I mean, disturbing imagery, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so I think if I complete one more of these, I should be able to unlock that costume that's really weird. It's an abandoned building in a foggy forest all around us where the echoes of some forgotten tragedy. Enveloped in evil, we pressed onward. Kitty says, congrats, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I honestly, I feel like when I finally get around to uh, uploading the Deep Rock Galactic videos, I think it's probably gonna bring in at least a couple more subs, to be honest. A couple more subscribleys. Because I know people like the Deep Rock Galactic, and I think the, the stuff I have is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I just need to give it a scan, as I'm doing with the Pokemon ones, just for a different reason. Uh, other than... Well, well, the reason is to cut out the, the, the boring missions or nothing really happens, and to cut out dead air. But otherwise, hoping to get the Deep Rock Galactic videos up relatively soon. Which, like I said, should bring me more peeps. So we're gonna bring Alyssa, and whom else? David? We've been bringing David in every mission, so we'll bring David along. <clears throat> bring David along for this one too. We, we've been bringing David since the start. I don't know why, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I bring David, like I even brought David when I was younger too. For no reason other than I just thought he was cool and I liked David. I, I Honestly, it's kind of a detriment since I know he, he runs off on his own. Hold on. Wait one second. I forgot to plug my phone in. And my phone is almost dead. There you go. Phone officially plugged in. And now will not die while I do this. Not on the wall. Can't read its handwriting. Yeah, so in a cabin for seemingly no, no reason. Don't worry about it. 
Oops. We got a long pole. I'll take that. <clears throat> I don't get many visitors around here. The old man. I hear the city's in quite a state right about now. Well, there is an old road through these woods that leads to the neighboring town. It's easy to get lost, I'm afraid. Let me show you the way. Let's hope no one gets hurt. Mm. It's not like there's a decent hospital around here, after all. <laughs> this guy seems a bit sus. Hospital? Mm. Interesting, interesting. Setting up the intrigue. Yeah, so it wouldn't be funny if, like, the next town over is si Silent Hill. Al and Dorothy. Hmm, okay. A stage, I guess you can say. Yeah, I do not like that tone. He does seem a bit sussy. Seems like a bit of a sussy baka, to be honest. Wrong button. Uh, there's a couple ways I can go. Let's go this way. Okay, that's where he is. And he just, like, disappeared into the forest. What's this way? Anything? What creepy trees? Do, 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 do. Is there anything over here? Well, David got something. Got a herb. Uh, oh, yeah, she has a stun gun. That's right. So I think I'm going to play this a bit differently since all of the... Oh, there's something, there's something blinking there. There's some kind of flash. I might go back. I oh, no. Took me to a cutscene? No, it didn't. Oh, there's a well there. Yeah, this already seems oddly Silent Hillish. Now, nah, so I think we're gonna play this a little bit differently in the sense that I, in every, in every um, scenario so far, I haven't really needed the pistol for much. I usually get a better weapon for the final boss. So if I get a pistol, I'm just gonna use it. Uh, yeah, just nothing really important. Ooh, that's I was asking a question here. Would you rather li live in the Resident Evil or Silent Hill universe? Well, I'm gonna pause it here because this is something I need to I need to mull over. It it depends, kind of. So like when you say Silent Hill universe, I presume you mean like in the town, right? So. There could be a couple ways to look at this, because technically... So let's say we're going through, like, the events that happened, right? So let's say it's it's not just like, oh, you're living in the in the Resident Evil universe, but you're not in Raccoon City, because that'd be, that'd be boring. So let's say we're in Raccoon City during the outbreak. And let's say we're in Silent Hill itself. Now... I forget, in the original game, is Silent Hill an abandoned town? I know it's abandoned in the game, but isn't that, is, isn't that only, like, what the town wants you to perceive? Because I think in Silent Hill, doesn't the town take you to, like, kind of an alternate version of itself? Like, the foggy version, as well as, like, the rusty version. But... It's like, if I were to go to Silent Hill... Okay, well, let's assume I'm in, like... Let's assume I'm in Silent Hill proper. Honestly, I'd probably take Resident Evil because zombies are still really slow. Yes, they're scary, but I mean, they're still really slow. There may be a lot of them. The chances of me running into a hunter are slim. Presumably, they're not that common. Same with lookers. So I'd probably really only run into zombies. If that's the case, that's not too bad. And then I just need to find a way to get out of town as fast as possible. But with Silent Hill, the thing is they tailor the monsters. Now, this isn't a spoiler. Everybody should know this, right? But if it, if it is, then I apologize for ruining this uh, this thing. But, well, I guess it's not ruining. I, I think it's kind of a cool explanation anyway. So the thing with Silent Hill, for those that don't know about, is um, generally when it comes... Well, actually, I was going to say this, like... 
at the start of the game anyway when i eventually do play silent hill so i guess i wouldn't really say it's a spoiler or anything but like the thing with silent hill is when you're in silent hill as the character the monsters are kind of tailored to stuff in relation to that um well in relation to what they've done or what's kind of going on in the game right Let's see. So what's uh? Let's see. With Danny, Dan, Danny, Dan. I, I can't say his name. Danny Votich, Danny Twitch. Anyway, dude. Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Good night, bro. Jaja ja, or haha. -ha, I guess would be the way to put it. Well, thank you very much for coming to the stream, friend. Thank you very much for dropping a bitty. And if you're going to sleep, I hope you have a wonderful night, my friendo. You take care. And yeah, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. For some reason, I, I see the vote twitch. Danny vote twitch. Danny vote twitch. Is that it? Anyway, feel free to correct me. I, I might be crap at pronouncing some names. I apologize. Uh, but Bass Eckert says that makes sense. Yeah, so like if I were to go to Silent Hill, it would probably tailor the, the things I see to, well, probably my fears or my issues which i wouldn't really like too much that would that would probably be very terrifying because i'm sure some of them would be spidery which i wouldn't be too keen on some of them would be very teethy which i also wouldn't be too keen on some of them would be pretty tall uh well see i'm just telling you guys all my fears i'm not afraid of tall things right but it's like you think of a tall thing pale thin tall lots of teeth you know, looking menacing. That's scary, right? Spiders, scary. Um, oh, mannequins, like dolls. Cause yeah, I don't like mannequins. I also don't like uh, dolls and, and stuff. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like creepy dolls. Never did. Never did. Which is funny, cause my mom always kept them around. But I never really liked creepy dolls like that, right? Ugh, hate it. Danny says, sure. Thank you very much, friendo. Hopefully you don't mind if I call you Danny. So yeah, that it would probably tailor, tailor itself to my fears, which... No, thank you. No, thank you. Don't want that. I don't want any of that. So yeah, I'd take Resident Evil. Resident Evil would be much more easy for me to manage, because all those zombies would be scary. Like, there's one right there. See? It's a wood zombie. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, I wanted to like look at my map. Oh yeah, I can't see anything. We'll just follow him. There's probably nothing around anyway, apart from this herb and that herb. I'll just touch one of them, it'll be fine. Oh, old man, why? That's fine. Oh, they have spores? Oh, no, I'm poisoned. Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, no. I'm going to hate this one. I'm going to hate this level. Oh, I'm going to hate this level so much. I'd probably rather just take the hit instead of take poison. There we go. What about you guys? Like, for, for, you, for those that know, like, I know Kitty already answered, but, like, would you take Silent Hill or would you take Resident Evil? Like, the thing with Resident Evil is unless... What? Are they both red herbs? I guess they were. Is that unlike... You know, like, if you're just living somewhere, like, you're probably fine. You know, like, if you're just living, right? Because, like, say say you go into the world of Resident Evil. And... You know, you survive the Raccoon City incident, right? You're probably fine. You're probably never going to get touched. Unless you're a member of STARS. But this is assuming you're just dropped into the world, right? And I'm not going to associate myself with Jill, Chris, or anybody like that. They get into too much trouble. 
Um, too many people want them dead, so I don't really want to associate myself with them either. Ooh, a hospital. Uh, I did mean to read that, actually. Uh, a ghost? Mysterious masked figure in the Arclay Woods. Hmm. A mysterious masked figure, eh? You'd also say Resident Evil for many of the same reasons? Yeah. I think it's just the better and uh, the better option. And let, let's be fair. Once again, Resident Evil scares me a little bit. It, it, clearly, it's done it on stream. You guys see me jump. Well, look at this. We have an axe man. And he... Oh, he's going to be the gimmick. Oh, shit. Holy shit, dude. He's coming. He's going to be the gimmick for this scenario, by the way. The axe man. He's 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 gonna be existing. He's a lot like the leech man, where he'll just kind of chase you. I think you can kill him, or get rid of him at least briefly. In fact, it may have something to do with one of the endings, but we'll we'll worry about that when we get to it. Uh, pharmacy, Noblic protrusion. Rick is dead, huh? Did he turn himself into a pickle. That'd be the funniest shit I'd ever see. I don't know what I picked up. Oh my god, I can't kick him away either. Holy shit! Oh, he's making me bleed. Okay, well, never mind. I thought he just took me down to danger. Him making me bleed still is bad, but it's not as bad as two hitting me and then being like, oh no, you're in danger now. I probably do just need to, like, beat him up. I probably need to make him go away, at least briefly. You know, pole so far, doing pretty good against that. Nope. Oh no, he made me bleed again. There he goes. Okay, now I made him leave. So you can make him leave for a bit. Just like that. No, David. Uh, so. That's the way back there. I can't go that way. I don't know where I want to go. I guess this way. Okay, so we beat him up. Kevin. So there isn't... Okay, well, he... He doesn't, so he doesn't leave for very long. So he doesn't leave for very long. Hmm. This can't be a very big level then. Um, well, that's not good. Fun stuff. I don't like how you don't really know the Silent Hill setting. I like to know what reality or universe I'm in. That's fair. Kevin just coming in as the x Men leaves so casually. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, look, there's, uh, there he is again. There's a plant there, too. Not plant 42. I don't know what you'd call this one. Oh, boy. Oh, look. It's a thing. Kevin. Hey, Alyssa. Alyssa, you're dying. Fuck. Kevin. Okay, well, no, nah, I'm fine. Yellow chemical bottle. Mm. Yo, I can't go over there. Kevin. Oh my god. Kevin. Oh my god, I just need to leave. I just need to leave. Slightly stop taking damage. Ugh. So what's this? It's throbbing. Can I hit it? I don't think I can hit it. See, I'm not really too sure. I'm not really too sure what to do here. So I can use these as weapons. Can I mix them? Oops. 
no. So they're probably my best weapons in this place, though. And it really, I doubt there's going to be much in the way of zombies or other enemies. It is... It is probably going to mostly be... Axe man. Just gonna try to scare him away again. Okay, that's fine. That works too. Uh, wrong button. Okay, so let's leave. Maybe that was him leaving. Maybe he was just trying to be scary while he was running away. Yeah, so that's Silent Hill and that's, uh... Yeah, look, that's Silent Hill in a nutshell, right? You'll never really truly know what sort of world you're getting into. Wait. Hmm. Just checking to see if, just checking to see if Alyssa might have been dead. Elevator has been completely destroyed. So what's in here? The reception office. Well, he received, received me. Recepted me. Pretty well with his axe. Not really a big fan. Can't do anything there. This area is a mess, really. Thanks, Kevin, for telling me that. I wouldn't have known otherwise. Green herb. Missed that later. Memorize the map. Okay, someone is down. It's probably Alyssa. Son of a... Mm. Well, I gotta help her. It's too early to have a character die. If it happens, though, it happens. I'm not gonna restart, but... I mean, if I can help, I will. I'm pretty sure they don't go by the same rule of... Virus. I don't think they can die to the virus, actually. So she's just down. Kevin. There you go. You're welcome. Please don't walk back into the plants, Alyssa. Please don't do that. So I need to avoid that one room that the plants are in. Because that's what got her really injured. And what probably will injure the AI a lot. So let's not go in there, at least not yet, until later. Mm. Examination room, huh? What do we have in here? Do we have a key? Hopefully I can find at least... Oh, zombie! A syringe. You missed. Damn it. Oh my god. Cat's fine. Wow, he got back up fast. I'm just gonna hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to kill this one. Okay, it did poison me. All right, so what's this, uh, a solvent? I mean, yeah? Recovery medicine base. Well, I don't really need that. You know, for a hospital, for a hospital, there sure is a lack of first aid sprays. No, oh, look at that. First aid spray. Uh, but I would rather... Just get a blue herb. So I'm guessing I inject this into the plant. Well, into the root of the, not the root, into that one vine. I think there is a blue herb in here somewhere. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm like near positive. Speaking of the devil in the middle appear, too true. Okay, I can handle being an orange caution. Or can I? Yeah, I can. For the time being. 
Is there anything up here? I haven't gone upstairs yet, or downstairs for that matter. Oh look, there's another one. Okay, he hasn't seen me, so he doesn't actually know where I am. See, I like that. I like that. I like how the enemy doesn't actually know where you are until they see you. So I have an idea of where to go, but I don't know for sure. I know I have that one area and that one door. A grenade launcher with flame rounds. I mean, I'll take you for sure. It's locked, so I need the admin office door. So this is going to be my weapon to kill the final boss with. I might need to put it somewhere, maybe. But I'll hold on to it for now. Um... I was gonna say, it's not this door that they're banging on. Room 201. Hmm, okay. What's in this room? Admin key. No, oh, typewriter. Oh, and a first aid spray. I'll save that for later. I wonder if Ram is dressy and its curtains are dirty. Hmm. Old medical devices. Oh, an old baseball. Nice. I will take that. Maybe one of the characters played baseball at some point. Okay, so not much in here, but just a general safe room to be safe in. Fair enough. See, now now it's showing me a decent amount of F-Aids. Okay, there's a zombie down there. What's down here? Anything? Nothing so far. Besides, like, a broom. Locked from the inside. Uh, it's down here. Anything? It's really dark. Elevator. Hmm. I heard something. And I think it may have been Axe Man. Maybe. But... Like, that sounded like a person. It sounded like a person. So, I don't know. Let's try to avoid him, though. So, I could go into the basement. No, it's busted. Shoot, that's where I need to go. Um. Damn it. I need to heal. Oh, oh I need to heal. I healed. Man, he's so thick. Yeah, so he's going to be the main, the main issue. He's going to be what I'm going to use my bullets on, mostly, I assume. So it's this way. Oh, what's this? Cutscene. Ah. Okay, the bridge collapsed, so no going back, basically. There's no going back for me. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. I will live with that. I thought it was something else. I thought it was something much worse. It's down here? That does stink. There's no escape. No escape. So... Use the snare, yeah. Well, he's, he's coming. Okay. So did that unblock this path, then? It did. Oh. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he coming. Oh, he coming. Are we coming good? Okay, so the pharmacy is what I need. I need. I, I saw something in the in the notes about a pharmacy. Oh, cool! I need that. 
I also probably need this. Well, I have an empty syringe. Ah, oh, but an empty chemical bottle. Solvent use. Uh, anesthesia. The special syringe. Do so slowly. Do not drink or touch it. Do not breathe it. So don't do anything with it. Wilting the vein. I might need more than one. So this I could probably actually also use to beat the final boss. Probably. If I if I toss it at the final boss, I mean. Because I'm sure it's going to be a plant. I mean, it's showing me a lot of plant stuff. So I can probably make the assumption. So I know roughly where the door for this key is. Hey, Mario. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today, friendo? Nope. The plant is still here. Okay, so note to self. Never any need to really go into this room. I don't think. I don't think there's anything in here. So we can just ignore this room, basically. How am I doing on health? Um, or yellow caution, that's fine. So now I have a key. Which I think goes to this door. Up here, I think. I guessed correctly. Some hospital has turned out to be. Thanks, David. Moy Poisano zombie. Avoid the fumes. So what do we have? Not much. Hold on, I, I do actually want to kill the zombie. These zombies seem like they're going to be a bit of a pain. Damn. Yeah, it's just like poison no matter what. Eh. That does suck. But what can you do? So what, which door is this? Look from the inside. Hmm. Uh. No, so I can't use it on that. Can I? I can shoot that. Well, maybe it's maybe he's pointing at the vine. I don't want to waste a shot on a vine. I'd rather waste a shot on other things if given the opportunity. Ooh. Oh, I can climb this. Neat. So I'm going up to the roof. What could we have on the roof? Well, I hear something that doesn't sound pleasant. Oh, look. It's flowers. That spew uh, spores out. Nice. Oh, look. And they're all pointed there. Uh, so it's a pesticide. I mean, that'd be good for David, probably. And flame rounds. Well, I already have flame rounds in here. So the plants are an enemy. Now I could, I probably, if I'm fast, I probably could climb up that. Let me just see. Yeah, could I think? It depends. They don't seem like they're on a proper cycle. I may as well just probably kill them. All right. Let's kill one of them. 
If this even works on them. Well. Okay. Oh, look, David. If only you were here earlier, I could have probably used you. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's just do this. It's worth it. Kevin. They gave me more ammo up here. It's worth it. Give me a herb? Thanks, I guess. You can have that. I don't need it. I don't need it anymore. Uh, oh, no, he gave me a stick. Thanks. I assumed, I assumed it was going to be useful. And not a stick. But... Little did I know, good old David always looking out for me. Hey, don't don't mess with me, David. So what is it with Resident Evil and giant plants? Giant plants seem to be a very big theme in RE. Mary says, "How are you all? I'm doing good, thank you. How you doing? How you doing, dude? Oh, the X Man's up here now. Hopefully you're doing well." Chucking shells. He's vibing. Nah, he he just moves too fast. You got you can't really avoid that. You can just try to get him to run away. Hmm. Okay, well, that didn't really work, but... I don't know. The shotgun shells can stay there, I guess. For the time being. Mm. Can I go... Oh my god, where can I go? I can go out this way. Is there anything for me out here? Uh, herbs? I'm higher. Come on! Come on, Kevin! Go, Kevin! Good job, Kevin. Holy crap. Man, he's so fast. Are there bees up here? Oh my god. Coming up, it's throbbing. So I killed the plant. And that collapsed a piece of roof. So. Oh, I made a hole. Oh. So can I go deeper? Maybe. Maybe. Just on Xenoblade after doing a lot of FF14. Very fun. Very, very fun. Hold on, just trying to avoid bees. Admittedly, I don't know if these are wasps or bees. They kind of look like wasps. No, they're wasps. You can tell by the face. I've defeated the vines. No, I did, David. Oh, me, dude. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm glad the Axe Man is mysteriously gone now. Oh, he took the shotgun ammo. Uh, can he hold on to it? I mean, he can. I'll take the green herb for now. Yeah, I'll do a mix. I'll take a mix. I don't know where Alyssa went off to, but she went somewhere. Because if I'm ever going to have a blue herb, I'm probably just going to eat it on its own. Probably. Probably would just eat it on its own. Those single mutated animals in RE, they usually are pretty fun, yeah. I don't know, I was...
was younger, it was always uh, an aspect of Resident Evil that I really enjoyed. All right. Let's go this way. What's here? A stick? Yeah, it's the... Well, it's a broken crutch. So now there's holes here. I don't know if I can jump down. I can. So where is this going to put me? In the 2F hall. Which one's the 2F hall? Is it on... Oh, wait, no. Yo, what happened? That broke something, but I thought it broke something outside. You know, I'm not too sure where that cutscene showed me, actually. I mean, these plants are still here. Hey, zombie. I don't know where the zombie came from. That, that zombie's cheating. My, I'm bleeding. I hate, I hate you, zombie. I hate you so much. So what did that show me? That showed me like a hole opening up somewhere. I couldn't really tell you where. Now, now I'm in deep trouble. I'd rather go back in here. I'd rather go back in here and possibly, possibly deal with the zombie. Oh my god, I'm in danger again? I'm in danger health again? Oh, dude, see, this is gonna be the hard part of the level. I don't know where that showed me. It looked like it was outside. But I don't recall... Well, I didn't see anything outside. Let me in. Yeah, I don't recall seeing anything outside. Okay, he came in. I just casually leave out. He's probably in that room now, officially. So now if I just hurriedly leave... Oh, hey, bud. Now he's, he's chasing me. Hmm. Oh, so I have a big issue. And that big issue has an axe. Yeah, it's gonna knock me down. Oh, that might, that might have actually killed me. Yeah, it did. Okay, so... So, cursory uh, exploration in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a long level, to be honest. It, it seems like it's gonna be a level that's gonna mostly just have the axe guy, and that's really gonna be the only... the only real issue. So we need to go upstairs, I think. I think going upstairs first is what's going to be important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cuz that's where we get the is that where we get the Yeah, that's where cuz that's where we get everything. That's where we get the syringe. Yeah, that's where we get the syringe. So I'll pick up healing stuff around here. See, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it down, right? We're getting it down. Uh, so that's the crutch. Don't need it. We'll follow the old man who I'm assuming is the axe man. Just a bit of a, a bit of a guess there. A green herb, I will take. I will take the green herb. 
So I'm not going to fight any of the zombies here. I would like another weapon for when the Axe Man shows up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I might just need to avoid him. That might be what you just need to do. Yeah, check that out. Look at me, dude. Resident Evil Pro. Resident Evil Pro. I can dodge many a zombie. Now, unless they change it up on me... I should have two red herbs at the end of this path. Yeah, he goes this way. Oh my god, there's two of them. It's fine, as long as they don't make me bleed. And then he goes this way. Yeah. This might actually be different. I I don't this might be a slightly different path. No, David. David's in orange caution already. If David goes down here, I'm not I'm not I'm leaving him. I'm gonna leave him. Don't even care. If he's orange caution already, then he's been doing something severely wrong. And he will have no mercy from me. There's so many zombies there are. And they're all poison zombies too. So it's like you hit them, that's still dangerous. Mm. Okay, so go upstairs. It's really all I need to remember first is go upstairs. Um, yeah, I'll take the red herb. I'll leave these around the hospital. There's a papier here. I will not read it, but I know there is one there. Okay, so I have three full heals right off the bat. And I know there's at least some full heals around. So we'll leave them strategically around the hospital. Because I'm probably going to just try to avoid the axe guy. The axe man will probably just be avoided. I don't really see a need to fight him unless I have to. Which, as long as he doesn't see me, then I shouldn't have to. We'll see, though. He hits hard. He hits hard. So what's in here? The, the admin office. So the admin office contained the syringe? No. No, it contained this. Um, I don't, uh, I don't really want to take it, though. But I should. Now I'll take it. It makes sense to take it. So we'll leave a full heal right there. Keep that in mind. There's a full heal in the admin office. And we're going to sprinkle our gifts around for future us. And then we're just going to go. We're just going to go zoom in. I think this is where you get the syringe. No, this isn't. But this is where you get an F8, so that's good. So we touch, and then we leave. Oh, he's here! Yeah, that one's locked. Okay, so... So is it not here? Wait a second. I thought it was... It was upstairs, isn't it? Or am I misremembering? Is it downstairs? Where did I get the syringe? I don't think they move it around. No, it's not downstairs. Oh, no, it's where he came from. It's where he came from. So technically, I did do the correct thing. 
because I think it's in here. I think it's in reception. I don't know anymore. Maybe it's in here. Pharmacy. Examination room. No, I get to the pharmacy by getting rid of that one plant. Okay, so it's in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Damn it. Now, I think there is a blue herb somewhere. Recovery meds. Yeah, that zombie's down for the moment. That's fine. I do know where there's a blue herb. It's actually just out here. So I can heal my poison at the very least. But now he's also here. He's going to follow me out. Meh. Okay. Okay. I won't. I won't take that one yet. He's oh, fucking bleeding. Okay. That missed. He's too close to me. Okay, that might get him to go away. Yeah, it did. Okay. That got him to go away. So that's not awful. But it's also not great. So I did have to use one full heal. No, that's another green. I need the other blue. Did... Did David jack my blue? Damn it, David. I oh, know here, here's my blue. Well, he may uh, he may have jacked it, but there's at least a blue here, which is nice. So let's not waste the precious time that I've been given. So it's in here downstairs, right? I can go into these rooms. I will. We'll check them out. Oh, no, there's nothing in this room. I already know this one. Well. Uh, did, did she just pick up an empty chemical bottle and put it down? I would like this, actually. If I can get more of the green stuff, I can throw it at him. That's the admin door. We don't need to go in there. And then I go up to the roof. No. No, this should take me to the roof, though. I don't need to go into that building or that room. Take care of this. Vine dies. Here. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's annoying, but I'm not gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste ammo on the vine. I don't. I don't see much need. So from the farm. Oh, here's where I get the admin key. I believe. That's another empty syringe. Auxiliary building key. So we can take that. Memo on the wall. I don't need that, at least not yet. Take the empty chemical bottles. Fill you. Fill you. So now, if I need to take care of Axeman, I throw bottles at him. That's what we do. That's how we take care of the Axeman. 
X Men. This game's longer than some RE games. Um, you just need to kind of replay them. I don't know if I'd really say they're super long. Like, like some of these levels, like once you get them down, like once you get the level down, you can finish a level in like 20 minutes, right? Quicker if you're if you play online, for example, because uh, then everybody's actually working together as a squad. Uh, okay, ignore these. But like as a whole, it is it does seem longer. It seems longer when you don't know what you're doing. Which for me, that has made it longer, right? So I do know what I'm doing, but like very vaguely. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Yeah, see, because it broke the stuff here. So it, so I don't know what it did. See, I'm, I'm still not too sure what that did for me. Oh, the bridge collapsed. Okay, I was like, what? So that shows you how much longer this has taken me, though. Well, how quicker, I should say. It, it's showing you how, much, how quickly I've, I've done this compared to the first time. Now, I'm still not too sure what to do after you go up here and kill the plant. Now, question is, though, do I kill the Axe Man here? I don't think I need to, but it probably would be beneficial, but I don't think I need to. See, because he's doing his own climbing. Nah, I mean, I'll take the shotgun rounds. Dodge? Yeah, dodging like a pro. Now I'm scared though. Oh, cause he's so fast. Oh, he's so fast. He's just such a fast guy. He's such a fast dude. He's so quick. Like that's what's scary about him is he's so quick. Oh, he got wasped. So let's see what this does. Cause it makes a, a like it makes another hole, I think. So it goes down there. So like it makes another hole, I think. So I think that's where I need to go. Thank you, wasps. So now X-Men should be gone. Uh, see, this is where I should probably... I should probably ditch the syringe now. I don't think I need it. I might still. I'm gonna assume I don't. Although, if not, then why would they give you another syringe you could use? Mm. Well, if need be, I know where one is that I could take. It's still in the pharmacy, so I know where one is if I really need one. Yeah, so it created this hole. So can I go down here? I can. Oh, but I can't get back out. So that's, that's the trick here. <laughs> 